what is the basic premise of the new lease standard and what is its effect on financial statements? Well, its effect could be dramatic. It really depends on the composition of the, of the leases that the companies have and the financial statements. Let me put this in perspective. As far as the new standard, you're required to record an asset and a liability on the balance sheet of the financial statements in situations where leases are greater than 12 months. Under the old lease standard, you were only required to record assets and liabilities on the balance sheet in situations where they met a very limited capital lease criteria. 